Hello and welcome to a level 105 monk setup guide. And so I've got made a few of these videos now for I think 95, 100, and maybe 85. Uh, so they kind of build on each other uh, to get to where I'm at now. But uh, at the same time, I'm, tr I'm going to try to cover everything in this video. So... Uh, I guess the uh, first things first, let's look at our first hot bar here. And a lot of this is going to be coming from a, a multi box with a bard and a shaman. So a lot of my buttons uh, kind of go together with the other characters too. So let's kind of keep that in mind. All right, so my first button is just a hide corpse NPC. So this will just hide any NPC corpses on the ground. I hit it every once in a while. Uh, it's mostly just to cut down the lag because uh, having three clients display all the corpses at the same time can eventually get laggy if you have a lot of corpses uh, and they don't go away fast enough. Uh, all right, so my first spam button. This is the button I press uh, pretty much 99% of the time. So I'm constantly pushing uh, uh, two through five. So uh, my first one here is... Uh, Torrent, uh, the first discipline I use is Torrent of Fists, and let's see if we can uh, find that one in the list over here. Torrent of Fists. Now, this is a new kind of spell, I guess. Uh, it's got a, a interesting little, uh, interaction with, uh, Master Synergy, the, uh, AA that comes in at Ring of Scale. I believe it's a Ring of Scale, I guess, when I noticed it. Uh, but right here, uh, kind of see here. The passive, this passive ability grants your Torrent of Fist combat abilities a 100% chance to trigger Master Synergy on all group members within a 100 foot radius for 18 seconds, which is increases their base damage or base weapon damage by 25% for 50 melee attacks. Now, at first glance, that sounds pretty kind of lame, but it is insane actually. So if we, uh, Go and just click it individually, right? Let me target this guy. Torrent of Fists. Just starts attacking. And then we get this right here. Uh, Masters Synergy 1. Everybody in the group gets it, right? So I'm in a group. Everybody gets it. 20 charges. Or 50 charges for 20 to 18 seconds, right? I Mine just keeps going up. Uh, and it increases our melee damage by 25% for those 50 hits. That's pretty crazy, huh? So that's the first thing I do. I want I want to keep that up as much as I possibly can. And I'm dual wielding at the moment, so it doesn't it doesn't last very long. So if I go over here and just like attack this training dummy, you can see there it's like 35, 27, 22, 7, 5. It's done. <laughs> like it's gone <laughs> that fast, right? Uh so it goes pretty, pretty quick when it comes to that kind of thing. So next thing I do is I turn attack on. Uh, normally, like if you're probably if you're doing uh, like a normal character without boxing, you would need to turn attack on like that probably. Uh, but I do. Uh, let's see here. Then I go into Doomwalker's Synergy right here. This is a 101 that I'll replace at I think 106. Uh, we're 105 right now, so we don't have everything for the you know the uh, that higher end, but uh, this one just increases our uh, just strikes you know the 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 target with three flying attacks, and then makes them weaker to additional flying attacks. So if we make a hotkey for this one, and we go over here, and we just click that right, then he gets this buff Doomwaker's synergy effect. So for 18 seconds, he gets uh, more damage from flying, a tick flying attack kicks. Jeez. Or flying kick attacks. I don't know. Uh, five points. So uh, this is an alternate ability. So if we go to class, uh, da, 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 five point. Uh, five point palm. There we go. Uh, let's see here. And it's just the numbers for the A's, right? So it's just call it five point palm. When activated, tri triggers uh, five point palm focusing, consuming 2% of your health to deal 130,000 damage to your target, then strikes them with 
uh, a 511 point base damage dragon point punch attack. So if we kind of hotkey this one real quick and we go over here and now watch our health and uh, see how much damage this thing does. Where is melee damage right here? That's not melee damage, is it? Oh, no melee damage is over here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forgot. All right, let's click that. There we go. You can kind of see uh, all the damage we got out of that. Plus, I believe a spell damage right here, unresistible damage. Uh, we took 3171 damage for that, and we hit for 103,000 damage. Plus, we got the, uh, I guess, four attacks out of that. And then uh, next we do Zanfi. Uh, which I believe is another one. Yeah, Zanfi's Whistle. So when activated, blesses you with Zanfi's Echoes, which grants your Tiger Claw, Eagle Strike, and Dragon Punch attacks 20% chance to trigger that. So this is something I could probably change right now on the fly that I didn't think about before. So let's go here. 7001. Here, let me turn off key mapping. And uh, we're going to swap those two so that we get the bonus from uh, Zanfi's Whistle on our five point. So I'm usually just spamming the button, so it really doesn't matter because they have different activation times. Uh, but let's go ahead and just do that one too. And I'll just know that those two are swapped. Uh, so Zanfi's Whistle, so it'll increase our damage of all those attacks, plus our one-handed and our two-handed attacks also and our flying kick base attack damage by 1090 so it's a whole a whole bunch of damage going on there i would almost say that i probably should put it before disc walkers uh, synergy also but the way i'm spamming the button it's not gonna matter i don't think all right so that's the first button and then uh, right over here i do vigorous shuriken and uh, this was probably something i can take out of my bar at this point in the game, uh, let's see here, sort by name, scroll all the way down. So this is all the way back from level 83. And it does a little bit of damage, it's not a whole lot of damage. So if we go like this, and let's just move that over here. So let's do a Vigorous Ashurik. There we go, and it's only 802 damage. So it's not a whole lot of damage that we can talk about. Uh, but it is something we can do, and it's on its own timer. Uh, it does cost 125 endurance, so eh, at this point I could probably just drop it. But we'll see how I go with it, you know, long term. All right, let's sort by level. And our next one is form, which is... Where is that one at? Uh, uh, yeah, Ditomic. Di form one uh this is from empires of kunark so what this does it doesn't really give you a really useful uh description so let's hotkey it uh pop it there and we should be able to just click it and it's not going to click you have to actually do the this right here and it, i'll show what it does here in a second uh but what it does is just buffs all our damage and uh it lasts for i think a minute and then you just wait till it comes back up. All right, Phantom Partisan. Uh, your hands blur and merge with other threads of reality, plummeting your enemy or your opponent multiple times. So this is just a basic little extra damage attack we can do. It costs 211 endurance, which is not that bad, but we can go ahead and click it here. And let's see where that damage goes. But you can kind of see that there was something right there fighting it still. And uh, I have the DPS parser up. Let me see if I can see. Where'd it go? Right here. No, that's not it. Spells. I literally just dragged it on. <laughs> there it is. Jeez. All right, here we go. And let's see here. I think it was like 1.2K. It's hard to tell. Let's do here. Spell cast times. Spell counts. Damage breakdown, monk. Yeah. So we just threw in some kicks from our pet right here. Uh, 
doing, uh, what is that? 800 hit. I'm guessing these go to, are tied to that one, but I'm not 100% sure. So, just a little bit of extra damage out of that, and you can use it every, what was that, 30 seconds. It just all adds up, right? And then we go into Veilwalker's Synergy, which is, I don't see it right here. See if it's down here. Veilwalker Synergy. Oh, I don't need that one anymore. Let me take that one out. So that one was replaced by Doomwalker's uh, Synergy. If we go back up here, is the timer nine? Come on, sort for me. Here we go. Uh, Doomwalker Synergy timer nine. All right, and Intimidation is. Uh, it's a normal ability over here. Uh, I have it over there, so DOA, DOA 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9. You don't count those two. All right. Uh, intimidation is actually, so it's it sucks when you first get it, right? It fears the mob, and it runs all over the zone, and you're like, this is terrible. But whenever you get the uh, the updated AA for it, it causes them to just stand in place, and they take more damage from your your attacks after that, uh, which is kind of nice. So any of the punch attacks cause it to do more damage uh, by forty percent for thirty seconds, and three levels higher than you. So it will. So I'm one hundred five. It'll only work on one hundred eight and lower mobs. So they're unable to do anything for 30 seconds, or 10 seconds, but uh, the buff lasts for 30. So it's a nice little synergy you got there. Uh, I make sure to hit that on cooldown. And then the next one, uh, Drunken Monkey Style. So this is an older one. I still use it because uh, sometimes it gives me the good rolls, if you will. Uh, drunk about it. Kalex stands offering the monk a slight chance to improve up to five different combat skills. So this is kind of like a gamble, uh, a gamble ability almost, right? So if I click it, I get a uh, drunken flying kick boost. So all my flying kicks will do extra damage, right? And as you click this or, you know, activate it, you will get random buffs, uh, like, whatever and you can switch them like I have buttons and stuff to switch all my attacks but I don't pay attention to it that much it's just if it works it works I do tiger claw and flying kick or my two uh, auto skills and uh, if it gets those it gets those if it doesn't it doesn't it is kind of expensive at 792 uh, endurance but uh, sometimes it's worth it sometimes it's not all right discs of woo Fists of Woo, not Discs of Woo. Uh, do, 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 where is this one? I think this is an older one. Let's see here, let's go here. Sort by number, name. Yeah, this one is 68. It never gets replaced, uh, but it grants your companions the Fists of Woo, increasing the fre frequency they will execute double attacks. So this one stays relevant for a while, and it goes for the whole group. So... Uh, increases my bard's DPS, for example. All right, and then uh, Tom Poe's uh, stance, which I actually have disabled right now because it is a uh, it is an extreme stamina drain, and I don't ever stop. <laughs> like I, I, the way I play is uh, is I play until I run out of all my stats and all my characters, and then I like I'm done. <laughs> like. I go mount up and sit in guild hall until uh, everybody's back, you know? Like, I don't really sit in med too much when I play. But this is a pretty nice skill. Uh, definitely something you'd use on, a, like, a raid, I would say. Activated allows 16% of your primary hand combat rounds to strike your current target additional primary hand combat round that deals 40% to deal damage increasing performance critical melee hit with all skills at the cost of 500 endurance per second for 48 seconds so it drains endurance pretty quick and then uh, infusion of thunder 
So I pretty much just, when it activates, it activates. It just adds a little bit extra damage to my attacks, right? Strikes your target for 2,600 to 4,500 damage. And, all right, it says it right there in the tooltip. And then uh, also grants your melee attacks uh, base damage by 90%. So it, it's just an overall nice little extra damage boost that we get. And then uh, two finger wasp touch. When activated, uh, increases the damage your target takes from tiger claw, uh, all the punch abilities, right? And tail rake if you are an Ixar by 100% for one minute. So this is like, why not? <laughs> like it's three minute reuse, one minute duration all the time. Every second you can use it, I would say, unless you have endurance problems. Uh, and then they just all kind of, these are like longer term buffs. So most of these last, last a little longer. So I don't have them on my, my typical, I spam two and three, uh, four is more or less. I hit it every once in a while. And then five is like every minute. So, uh, let's see here. That's good. And then let's see combat buffs, shaman group buffs. So this is more or less a reminder for me to know that when I hit five, that's going to trigger something on my shaman, uh, which is, I believe, like Roar of the Lion right now. Uh, and I think Group Heal. So it's just kind of a reminder for me. I kind of have reminders throughout all this too for that. And I also have dis a Torrent of Fists on here just in case it's up because <laughs> it does so much damage. All right, and then my first burn, right? Spire the Sensei, uh, it's the first one I activate. I don't think it really matters on the order uh, of these. I think they all just kind of work together, but uh, pretty much this one, which increases like uh, my maximum endurance, maximum strength, maximum damage, minimum damage, Accuracy, attack power, it just goes on and on. Spell critical damage. Uh, critical damage with spells, so my procs from my weapons crit, and my melee avoidance by 80%. So whenever I like get a bad pull, for example, and I get more more mobs than I want to deal with, I hit seven, I hit eight, and I just try to kill everything as fast as possible. And uh, in the last few episodes, you probably saw me do that because I had some pretty bad pulls. All right, and then uh, so that's just buffing everything there, and then we'll go into Eagle's Balance. Is Eagle's Balance? Uh, da, da, da. It should be like a recent one. I don't know why it's there. It is. So this one's from '97. I don't think it got replaced yet. Sixteen. Oh, there's Dragon's Balance. So it did get replaced by Dragon's Balance. Guess I need to update this. Uh, so that is yeah, Dragon's Balance. There we go. So Dragon's Balance, balance stats. So the Dragon adding extra attacks to your strikes. So it's just more damage. Ah, uh, it's not very descriptive, but uh, it does more damage. Infusion of Thunder. I have it here duplicated just in case it's up. Uh, I can probably remove it at this point. I didn't have it in my uh, spam button before, uh, but I I needed more damage because <laughs> I got rid of one of my... Uh, I, I run three healer mercs, so I don't have to worry about like thinking while I'm playing and making videos. Uh, and uh, I needed more damage because I dropped one of the melee, melee dis discipline guys. Uh, mercenaries. All right, Focus Destructive Force. Now this one, I think it's this one right here, yeah. Causes your primary slot to attack with melee. Your primary slot melee rounds hit your target with additional melee round for 42 seconds. So you hit once, get hit another one, right, for 42 seconds. Uh, there is an alternate version of this one called Destructive Force right here, which instead of hitting double on one, you hit for less, like 25% on all the targets around your primary target. Uh, 40 foot radius all targets so it's that's a nice aoe destructive force but if you want to focus that down and say kill a boss or a named 
you'd want to use focus. And then I do silent strikes, which is what you would want to do if you're not boxing and you have you know you don't have you have a tank. Uh, you'd want a silent strike so that the, you're not generating more hate. Uh, I don't know why I have it in here uh, in my setup because I, I actually want a tank, but <laughs> uh, it's there, and I'm actually gonna disable it right now. I didn't realize it was there. That'll just turn silent strikes off. So this will just lower my, you know, my, my, uh, my the amount of hate I generate. So uh, I'm gonna disable it on mine. But uh, if you're playing with like real people and you have a tank or you're boxing a tank, you would you would want that to be on because you want them to take the damage, not you. Uh, but we don't have that luxury. So the next one is. Crane stance. I don't even see it right here. So where is it? So here, sort by name. Scroll it up. Crane stance is a level ninety-three level and uh, fourteen. Uh, risky stance generate two very strong flying kicks. So this was a timer. What was that? Fourteen. I can't believe that would have not been replaced. Yeah, so let me double check, make sure I didn't miss something here. Like I've had I've had issue where I'll change something in a macro and then log out, and they don't get updated. So something to keep in mind if you have the same issue I do. So there's a timer fourteen. Actually, let's do this sort by timer. Okay, so there is no upgrade to it. That's why it's still there. Uh, let's see here. Then I go Swift Tails Chant, which is an alternate ability. Activate empowers all group members in a hundred foot radius, to restoring fourteen or four thousand endurance, uh, allowing them to absorb uh, their melee damage as endurance. This kind of makes me a little bit tankier. That's kind of why I, I run it. Uh, it it sucks endurance for sure. Uh, it doesn't suck. It, it, like, it restores 4,000 endurance, right? But it sucks endurance when I get hit. So, uh, sometimes it's useful. I take a lot of damage as a monk, uh, compared to, like, a Shadow Knight or a Warrior or a Paladin. Uh, use item 17. That is my breastplate right here. So, when I click this, I get, uh, Eight Leaves Fist Technique. It focuses your Chi, allowing you to unleash 39, 38 damage striking when striking your opponent. So I believe this just adds a buff that every time I hit, it shows that extra 3,900 damage. Uh, and more. More damage. More damage, more damage, more damage. All right. And Heal of Zagol. I think that's what it said. <laughs> Uh, sort by number. There we go. Heal. Right here. Uh, this one's from level 100, so... I don't know when I'll get the next upgrade for this one, but focus your internal energy uh, using the technique of Master Zagel. Uh, while in his... In this trance, flying kicks will do much greater damage and have a higher chance of, chance of hitting you'll be able to execute them more often and more frequently. So the auto skill will trigger more often when that's going. So it's really useful for getting more damage out. And then I have a, a use item for my blood drinkers coating right here. So blood drinkers coating is a clicky that if I can actually drag the window down, <laughs> coats your weapons in a life tap poison causing 2% of the damage you inflict to, to heal you. So if I hit for uh, 100,000, I think it gives me back uh, 2K, 2K damage or 2K health. So you can see, see how some of my big kits are. It's uh, It adds up really quick. And that's burn two. And then I have this one on here, Curse of 13 Fingers. I... I don't know what to say about this one. I, I put it on my bar. It was something that th seemed interesting. I didn't want to spam it because it's, you know, pretty expensive. Um, 
but it places a curse on your target, causing them to take much more damage from damage shields. If they are struck enough times, they will take a massive of damage when the curse is fulfilled. Now, as you can see, like I'm, I'm buffed to the, like the max over here, right? And I have like the high level, uh, level you know 120 buffs on me because I sit in guild lobby and I get buffed up because that's you know that's pretty much a smart thing to do on live. Uh, always get buffed and have buffs. So like you can see here that uh, this damage shield does 6,500. So if you kind of think about it here, we get like a synergy going on. Like if you take the 6,500 from that plus the 2,100 from that, that's like what, let's say 8,500, 8, right? Let's just say it right there. And I think I have another one. Uh, I think I have an, like the, the cloak, right? This cloak here. I don't even know if it was on. <laughs> and uh, I think the earring. Yeah, uh, so all, it kind of adds up and it'll do enough, you know, it might do some damage to something that has enough hit points, but uh, I'm pretty selective on that one. Others fade. This is just a reminder for me when I hit minus sign, my bard will fade in memories and my uh, shaman will inconspicuous totem. So I, if I'm... If I have a bad pull and like the mercenary pulled aggro and like it, the mercenary is going to die, I don't want my other characters to die. So I immediately, you know, take them out, my two main characters out. Uh, and then I can kind of navigate a little bit with Tawani here until I feign death. So it just depends on the situation. And then I have my mount. Uh, and that's just because that's where I have everybody's mount on all my characters. Just makes it easier for me to do it all, mount everybody up at the same time. Uh, then I have a pull macro, which uh, I do rest is the first <laughs> the first line of this one, right? Which I believe is actually needs to be updated. Yeah, here's timer 13. This should be replaced actually with uh, breather, I believe. Uh, where is where did I go? Rest. Quickens the endurance rate, so it's it's a 54 second endurance, but it only does up to 21% of your uh, endurance back. Yeah, so this one needs to be a uh, breather. So every time I pull, like here, I can kind of demonstrate right here. So if I target him, right, I hit uh, num1 on my mouse. And I have over 21% endurance, so it does not trigger uh, breather, but uh, it does the distance strike. So if I have less than 21% endurance, it'll do breather, which will give me a buff that gives me back endurance. And you see it's not there. Uh, let's see, what is Alt Act uh, 376? I believe that is distance strike, right? Yeah, distance strike. And that's just a pull ability, so I don't like... I, I don't have a ranged item. I just distance strike and it's a pretty it's a two second reuse, so you can use it pretty fast. It does one damage and it's a three hundred foot range. So it's probably it's the best pulling thing you can get. Uh I think I don't know of anything better. <laughs> and then I also have uh another hide a corpse NPC in here just in case uh I haven't hit one in a while. All right. And then over here I have a just a reminder that the shaman AoE slow and with the timer 30, 300 for 30 seconds. Uh, then I have Mend, which is a pretty much complete heal uh, for a monk. It's it's not 100% complete heal, but it heals me typically from, I'll be like right here, like 10%. I'm always like 90%. And I don't know if that's like, I have three healers, but sometimes they don't work as well as you'd think that would, having three healers. Uh, but... I, I, hit, I hit it when I have emergencies, and it's a pretty quick reuse, right? If I hit it right now, right? It's, that, uh, it's a 30 second reuse for a pretty good heal, so it makes it's one of the nice benefits of a monk. Uh, then I have Imitate Death, which is my feign death. Instantly gets me out of combat, instantly frees me up from anything, right? Clears the aggro list immediately, uh, so I can kind of deal with that. And then I have feign death, macro here which uh is just attack off doa4 and then timer 80 i believe this one is uh 
I believe that's how long this feign death lasts. Uh, feign death. No, it's like it's like five seconds now. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, this. I think it's dependent on haste too. Uh, see then Bard Mez, this is a reminder for me. So anything I have in, so here I, I have my X targets set up the same on every character. Uh, one is 20, two is nil, three is Ketka, four is my target. Whatever I'm fighting is that. And then down here at 20, I have the tank. Now, if I'm running a, uh, if I run a mercenary tank, I set the tank here and on Ketka, right? I have a button just for healing that, that character. But it's typically Tawani, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but early on, I was running a uh, healer mercenary. So, so you got one through four, and then five, six, and seven. Or I guess five and six on this character. <laughs> I didn't do a seven. Uh, those are just reminders for the bard to single target mez those. And then I have an AoE mez reminder for the bard too. So it's just kind of a reminder to myself when I'm not really thinking, or if I haven't played the characters in a while, uh, if you do this, this is where that button's at, right? And then Master's Aura, this is the level 70 discipline. Uh, it increases... Uh, I don't think I'm going to get it from here. I think I can get it from... Well, can't get it from the other character. If I go here, and I sort by level and I go down to level 70 right there it is master's aura increases your companion's chance to dodge parry repost attacks as long as they stay within the area so this just makes me more tanky and it doesn't really I don't it doesn't matter if it works on the other characters because they usually don't last as long as I can in combat so I, I like to keep this up at all times uh, I don't know if it actually shows like in the uh, stats menu and sorry that this is all blurry uh like this this window like they did a patch and it's just like really not as good as it used to be <laughs> so uh hopefully they fix that soon or, or later but uh i don't know if that actually shows anywhere in here but i have that there and then i have uh t Primary anchor, secondary anchor, these just teleport me to where my anchor is, which is in my guild lobby. I mean, my guild hall here. Uh, I have a, like a pool over here where I put all my anchors for all my characters. Just a big old pool of them. Uh, I have a follow macro. Uh, doesn't really matter on this character uh, since she uh, is the uh, where I play primary, but uh, they all, all the characters have the same thing, right? target the first whoever's first which is me stand follow and you know it works uh grappling strike this kind of like will pull a mob towards me uh, it doesn't really work that well for for the way i play uh because i like to do the auto follow thing where i kind of like have them follow and then it's like this and if i pull it it goes into where i'm standing and it's just like really annoying uh, but sometimes I ha I need to position mobs a little better. Like uh, in a few episodes ago, I was fighting sirens in uh, Cavern of the Endless Song. And they'll attack like the mercenary or something before they get all the way to me. Because, you know, that's just how it works. And I need to move them so I, if I get respawns, I don't get killed. So it's useful there. Uh, what does that say? Neshkis? Neshka's blink, so it's just a teleport across, like, the... <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> uh, it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes. I don't know, it's it's terrible. Uh, but it just teleports you forward um, 315 feet, right? So if I can do it like this, see how I'm, like, hit the wall. So it's good, like, if you're running through Sky Shrine or something trying to kill Yelenak. Uh, it's really useful for those long hauls, but I... I don't use it typically since I'm boxing, and uh, I, I like them all to be in sync, and with Bard Song, it doesn't really matter. Throne of Heroes, tele it's just an AA that teleports you back to uh, Guild Lobby. Origin uh, just teleports you back to, uh, I think I'm bound in uh, Crescent Reach, right? Yeah, Crescent Reach. 
And then I have a reminder for Shaman to heal me. So I have this like Shaman heal one, that's X target one, two, X target two, three, X target three. And I'll go, I'll go into those when I do the uh, Shaman video. And then I have a uh, shift numpad four, which just reminds me that's how I turn my bard on. <laughs> it's like if I shift numpad four and you can kind of see she starts, uh, starts singing her melody which I'll go into more detail when uh, when I do her video, but just kind of reminders is what I have going on. Lots and lots of reminders. And then uh, another one for uh, Sloth, which is uh, Shift Numpad 6. Clicking it, what are you not doing? Oh. Oh, there we go. I think she did it finally. There we go. So she's going to do, uh, uh, what I think it's called sluggishness right now. Yeah. Sluggishness, which, uh, will, uh, give me 240 charges of a slow. And then, uh, it also does, what is it called? <laughs> That's the HP buff, uh, ferocious growth. That's it. Gives me an extra 1300 or 13,000 hit points. So it's pretty nice. Puts me up at 158,000 hit points right now with uh, all the buffs I got, which is actually pretty nice. If you think about it, because uh, I'm not a tank and uh, I've been pushing, I push a lot for HP and armor for a lot of the augs and stuff I pick. Uh, see, Gribble, this is just a button for when I was doing Gribbles over and over. Uh, target Gribble, hail him. Uh, say the words, say the words kind of thing. All right. And then I have my uh, campfire insignia. So it just teleports me to wherever I put my campfire. Uh, I like to put a campfire down at uh, quest mobs so I can teleport back really quick. Kind of saves a little bit of time in videos. Uh, and I, my fellowship is shared between like most of my characters. So I can uh, do whatever I need to do to get them around and I, I use my druid to teleport everybody around uh, most of the time. Uh, let's see here and then uh, the drunkard stein which is a clicky that teleports you back pretty m almost instantly back to uh, plane of knowledge. Uh, I gotta go into keyring. Uh, where is it? Teleportation right here. Yeah, drunken wandering. Uh, 0.5 second re uh, cast time. 30 minute recast. So that's good if you want to get back to playing knowledge really quick. All right. Then the last row here, group. Uh, just this is how I kind of set up my group. I invite Kedka, invite Nilv. I set my rules to one and two, which is main assist and tank. And just goes and goes. And then I have all the clicky uh, from the special AA tab. Summon bankers, tribute vendor, uh permutation peddler i think i can't i can't read it it's so small uh summon uh the agent you can sell stuff to expedient recovery which gives you 100 percent res on all your corpses and summons them all to you so it's like a one time <laughs> it's not a one-time thing but it's 160 hour 64 hour reuse so you're probably only using that like once a week uh chaotic uh jester which just randomly buffs you. Uh, it's kind of useless uh, most of the time. Early on, it's useful if you're soloing. I think we used it quite a bit uh, when we were doing stuff low level. Staunch Recovery. This is another one that just kind of instantly restores all your stats, like 500,000 health, mana, and endurance, just instantly recovered. Uh, it's like a lay on hands times Uber. <laughs> like, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I rarely use it because I forget about it. Uh, armor of experience just absorbs damage, right? Just takes a lot of damage. Uh, makes you a little bit tankier for a little while. I use a lot of these lower level. Uh, Infusion of the Faithful, I rarely use this, but whenever I make a new trader, I use it because it gives you 65% movement speed for 15 minutes. And uh, it's really nice in there, but it increases your resist, but we're pretty much already resist capped here at... Uh, uh, 802 so so we do the uh dragons of norath stuff and the uh 
Where are my proving ground trials? Until we do those, we're not going to get any higher. Uh, but it's useful. It just uh, not at this level. And then Steadfast Servant summons a... <laughs> uh, it summons a little pet that follows you around and heals you. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. It's not that great, right? Heals for 6,400. Uh, every six seconds like I don't even know if it's worth the buff slot right uh, I'm getting 7400 a second from the group heal from the shaman so it might be useful for solo uh, it also can cast clarity on you so if you have uh, if you use mana and you don't have clarity uh, it gives you clarity so it's kind of nice there but it buffs you with all the different buffs really useful on a, on a low level character for sure and then Lessons of the Devout is a 100% uh, bonus experience for 30 minutes. Uh, you can use every 20 hours. So I I try to use that as much as I can. But uh, it's just hard to find a good spot to grind at at certain levels. All right. So that is all of that hot bar. That's all my clickies over here. All right. So I... I accidentally stopped recording at some point. Uh, and I'm going to have to go over some of this again. But uh, I, I think I co covered everything over here. Uh, I have my clickies. I like the, the breastplate uh, does extra damage. The cloak does uh, damage shield. Uh, the earring does a uh, absorb. And uh, the blood drinkers coating does a... Uh, uh, what you call it, a uh, life tap. So uh, I also have over here the Amulet of Necropotence for uh, making myself bigger uh, if I'm shrunk and I, I can't get upstairs or something like that. And then I have the Abashi's Rod of dis, uh, Disempowerment, which is the uh, Dispel Rod from Volak in the uh, Vilius Error. And then a uh, packed picnic basket here. For uh, summoning food. And let's see here. I don't think I covered these. So these are all my burns. The red is burns. Green is stamina, or stamina related or healing related. And yellow is utility. And these are just kind of like uh, kind of what we got going on. I don't even need this one here anymore. Uh, Ton post stance. Uh, Dragon Force. Dragon Force is actually a utility it'll knock the mob back or forward you know wherever we want it to go uh crane stance this is kind of just a timer to show me uh the burn right there uh refuse death kind of gives you a little extra absorb before you die uh, i don't know i haven't ever used it but it might work uh and then eye of the storm just adds a little bit of damage to your attacks it's a little bit older it's a 98 spell so just depends on what they went there. Uh, and then we have, uh, then I have macros to change my auto skill. So each of these give different things. Stunning round kick stuns the target. Uh, sweeping kick will snare the target. And flying kick does more damage. Uh, flying kick, or sweeping kick requires kick. And round kick requires round kick. Uh, and then uh, I have heal of the Zagali in my burn macro right so i have just manual buttons for speed discipline which just increases our attack speed iron fist discipline which increases our uh damaging special attacks terror palm which increases our damage from our attacks for 30 seconds uh vehement rage which will increase our damage by 15 percent and our minimum damage by 45 percent and but it makes us take more less heal damage or like he we'll heal for less from he from other other players uh which can be problematic at certain times but uh it seems fine most of the time infusion of thunder i have that one in my uh, spam button just adds an extra 4500 proc to our our damage and increases our uh minimum and our base melee damage by 90 percent. it's just insane uh, let's see here. Destructive Force and Focus Force. We covered both of those. Spire covered. Intensity the Resolute uh, is another special AA that you get that'll increase your damage by 50 to 55%. 
and it does not stack with the glyph of destruction which got renamed to the glyph of ultimate power uh wherever it's at uh fireworks yeah glyph of ultimate power right there and then uh dragon's balance which is just another uh i just clicked it <laughs> it is another um kind of burn that just gives us extra attacks when we strike and Zyf uh, Zanfi's Whistle, this is my spam. I use that at all times. Increases our damage, just something nice to have uh, around. Let's uh, see here. Technique of the Crimson Fist is a uh, life ta or endurance stealing ability. So uh, it lowers your melee damage, but it gives you a steal little stealing ability. Uh, I don't know how long it lasts doesn't say it lasts for some period of time <laughs> it gives you more endurance uh eight breaths which is just another you know reflect or re rege regenerate some uh, endurance uh rest i have this in my pull macro or i have the new one in my pull macro breather is the new one just go ahead and swap that one and I don't know why I have them both on there. And let's see your Swift Tails Chant, which is another endurance based ability. This will uh, restore 4,000 endurance to everybody in the group and give us a shield that takes from endurance. So at least 4,000 points of health. <laughs> For if you need it, it's useful at times, but uh, not so much. And then I have uh, Cloudy Potions, which I guess I can just move over here for now. And I have a Forge Macro, or a Forge Button. I don't think I've clicked it at all, so it's not that much. Echo and Darken Apparition, these are our Mezes and Lulls. Uh, definitely the b best way to pull as a monk is to use these, since we don't have Snare. Uh, and this is just some bandolier switched between two hand and hand to hand. I only use uh, I only use uh, hand to hand right now. But at 106, we're gonna switch to a two hand uh, permanently. Uh, chrono projection is like an eye, so if we click it, right, it's gonna turn us into a invisible eye. Uh, as soon as it clicks in, there we go. So we're detached from Tawani's body. And we can go scout around and uh, see what's going on in the world. And we can stop that with stop discipline. It just disconnects us. Uh, jab through. Just, you know, get, lets you stab through and kind of go through an opponent's defenses, I guess is what it says. Uh, I guess it's like a non-mitigated attack. It's a little lower level, 89. I don't really use it at all anymore. Uh, five point palm. I believe that's in my uh, that's in my what you call it, my spam. So I don't actually need it on my bar. And then inner rejuvenation just heals us for uh, twenty nine thousand or thirty five percent of our health. Uh, and you can only do it out of combat. So if I didn't, if I was in box, I'd probably use this more. I believe we used the lower level one a lot when we were leveling up. Uh, when we didn't have uh everything we have now and then purified body is our cure pure you know just purifies us removes mez if you're mez and stuff like that it's really it's just great uh it's a four minute reuse and you can use it all the time it's perfect all right i think that covers all of that so let's go into the combat here and just kind of like see what we're doing uh damage wise let me see here where is my Hog parser, I got that going, so let's go. So let's just start attacking. There we go. You can see our damage there. We're doing I'm doing nothing but auto attacks plus whatever buffs we have, right? We got a few of the burns on activated right now just because. Ah, uh, but let's start clicking things and getting them going. And get the bard singing. For just a little bit closer. Cause it's really what it is. It's it's a it's a group effort, if you will. <laughs> and let's get uh, let's get the shaman a little closer. Roar of the lion. There we go. 
Let's see if I can get the damage to show up near. So we're at 160,000 DPS. Let's do eight. Let's do seven. Every burn is active now. 198,000. Kind of see 209. So we can kind of peek at about that. You know, pretty good damage right now, right? Uh, I I found from going from 104 to 105 has been a night and day in regards to survivability and damage, right? It, if you can see this, like some of these attacks over here, they're just they're just massive, and it just goes so fast, right? It's, and this is with hand to hand. Ah, uh, the the hit size is massively higher when you go to two hand. Uh, I think I have a two hander on me. I can kind of show. I don't think it's set up right, but you can kind of see like 30,000, 33,000. I think there's some 100Ks in there too, but you can see now we're up to 230 d DPS. 230,000, just, it's pretty crazy. And if we bring in the, uh, the chart, right? Uh, let's see here. Damage breakdown. So here we go. 20 in pets. Uh, you know, we have a 25% critical. Average critical is 19,000. Uh, we did 28 million in all that little time. And we're max hit was 470, 447,000 damage. You can just kind of see as we built up over time, it just kind of stayed there. Uh, in normal circumstances, not being in guild lobby here or guild guild hall, the buffs will wear off and stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, we're we could probably peek at that, you know, at the whatever we're hitting, right? So the two, let's just say two hundred twenty-five thousand, we could probably peek at that, and then uh, it would you know change up after that. But uh, definitely. Uh, definitely doing better i think now that we've hit uh <laughs> hit, hit this level uh 105 has just been really uh great i think i don't know what it is we got a lot of aas at 105 and 104 that just kind of like pushed over there was nothing new right we're not getting anything new at this point but uh we're getting more and more little little ticks of levels and stuff like that and my burst power here, right? This isn't, this isn't leveled up. Uh, actually, no, this one is. It's Battlefield Vigence is the one I got. So this one increases our repost, uh, repost by 3%. So, and that, since I tank, it increases our damage too. So that one's getting a little bit more, but there's a lot going on as we get to this level and stuff like that. But it's, uh, I mean, we're still main. I'm not even pushing anything. We're maintaining 200, you know, 200,000 plus damage. It's slowly going down, right? But uh, we're still maintaining it. And you can just see, like, the massive hits were over there. They're just coming in and out. It's just crazy. Like, it fills up the screen so bad. I right? like. I might. I might even have to turn that off. It's just gonna spam too much over here. But uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of how I have my monk set up. Hopefully everything makes sense. I did like, ha like at some point the recording broke and, uh, kind of went away, but, uh, it is, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, if you got any questions or comments, please let me know. And I can, uh, I can definitely try to answer them. I'm not a hundred percent, you know, great monk yet I, i'm still learning and we have another uh, 15 levels right now uh, and hopefully we get to 120 before uh, the next expansion comes out but uh, I, I don't think it's going to take much longer to get to uh, 120 at the current rate we are going but uh yeah so thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day